Now, Malaysia's Prime Minister Muhyiddin Yassin has tested negative for the coronavirus. His office says he is in good health but will continue to self-isolate. Mr. Muhyiddin is serving a two-week quarantine after coming into contact with a minister who was infected. COVID-19 cases in Malaysia have soared over the past week. 489 cases have been added to the tally in the past 24 hours. That's a dip from yesterday's record of nearly 700 cases. The recent state election in Sabah is blamed for the surge. The Prime Minister has ruled out a nationwide lockdown because of costs to the economy. Instead, more targeted stay-home orders will be implemented. For the latest, Melissa Go joins us from Kuala Lumpur right now. Mel, the number of new cases has dipped, but it's still alarming because more areas are declared red zones. Uh, indeed. I mean, the Prime Minister Mohidin himself is chairing National Security Council meeting every day now. Now, he said that, you know, he assured the public people, people are angry because some of its ministers failed to observe home quarantine after returning from uh, high risk zones in Sabah. He said he's well. Um, he is, even though he's not wearing a pink wristband for all returnees who observe home surveillance order. But he is uh, following the 14 days home quarantine and he is well. All his test results were negative. He's been tested every fortnight, he said. Now, uh, the situation on the ground, even though today is 489 cases lower than yesterday, it's still all time high. The people are worried. They are angry uh, on the ground. Now, more places are now put under red zones. And uh, in the uh, Sabah state, one of the uh, high risk zone, um, more places, three areas, at least the second largest city, Sandakan, as well as neighboring uh, chief minister stronghold of Tuaran and Papar will be put under mandatory or conditional um, movement control order beginning Friday. Now, this after the state capital, Kota Kinabalu, uh, came under partial lockdown starting today. Um, more places will be put under similar uh, restrictions as well. And over in Peninsula as well, the uh, in the state of Selang or Klang uh, area will be put under similar controls as well starting Friday. Now, what it means in, in these places, schools will be closed. Only businesses, if you're involved in essential services, will be allowed to operate. Restaurants, you can open, but strictly for takeouts, as no dine-in. Lots of restriction on the roads. Cars can only have two passengers at most, um, there are lots of controls coming in now. The market is reacting. Uh, the stock prices as well are coming down. The stock market lost some 20 points today. Um, it's, it's alarming, the, the rapid increase. That's why the authorities are now watching it closely. It will take time for the numbers to come down, for the curve to be flattened. Uh, Director General Dr. Noor Hisham said, you know, this is the time. They can do it again. He thinks that people need to come together and stop the blame game and start observing the SOP and flatten the curve once again.